Hey guys, it's Lindsay here. Today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite things, fabric. And as we said in our swatch video on Tuesday, Stylemaker Fabrics has launched her fall collection and to help celebrate she's hosting a huge blog tour featuring some of my favorite bloggers and I'm so thrilled to be a part of it. As you saw in the swatch video, Michelle has sourced some amazing fabrics for fall. It was really so hard for me to choose my fabrics for this video, but after I got my hands on Butterick 6388, I knew I needed a sweater knit for this dress. So I found a jacquard double knit and I knew it would be the perfect sweater dress. The fabric itself is super soft to the touch. Like it's just one of those sweater knits that's really, really cozy and soft and just makes you wanna like cuddle up with it. Um, it does not have a lot of stretch to it, as you can see, which is fine for a sweater dress. It's not supposed to be super form fitting. Um, you really just need enough stretch to kind of, you know, move around, get it on over your head um, because there's no zippers or, you know, any, any of that, any of those kinds of notions. There's also quite a bit of drape um, in this fabric. Uh, well, quite a bit for a sweater knit, I would say, but I think it's really nice to have a little bit of drape in a sweater knit. Um, it obviously makes a really great sheath dress that just kind of floats over the body. It's not too form fitting, but it would also make a really great dress that has a, a gathered skirt um, or some kind of like blousing in the bodice. Some final notes on this fabric. I just wanted to say that it pressed really well, really easily with um, some moderate heat and steam. And it also just really sewed up really well. Even the top stitching on the back yoke and on the sleeves, I feel like turned out really nice with this fabric. Finally, this fabric is 63 inches wide, which is just crazy. It didn't shrink up a ton when I pre-washed it. I had a ton left over despite ordering exactly what the pattern called for, so keep that in mind whenever you're ordering your yardage. A few notes on the pattern. I had to take in the waist by almost six inches to get this shape. This was after grading between sizes as I usually do. Also, the neckline is not intended to be this baggy. I had a whoopsie daisy and took it in at the shoulders and forgot to adjust the collar. It's a little short uh, for my taste, but I think it'll look great with leggings. I'd also like to note that it's still 90 degrees here in Charleston, so just getting outside in this sweater dress to film was all the heat I could handle. But I'll post pictures with a dress styled with leggings later this week when I travel up north to Quebec City where the high is like in the 60s. Okay, so next up is this adorable top. I used Butterick 6375 for this one and really love the way it turned out. The fabric is a rayon crepe. It does have some texture to it, which is one of my favorite things about a crepe actually. The pattern really needed a fabric with a lot of drape, but still maintained its structure. You can't tell, but there is so much detail in this pattern from the way the sleeves are constructed to the asymmetrical pleat on the front and that self-drafted pleated belt. The fabric held up beautifully to all the detailing. It pressed really well and was really easy to sew. Naturally, it was a little shifty when I was cutting out my pattern, but it didn't move much on me at all when I was sewing. The juxtaposition of the structured belt and the cascading pleat detail is so beautiful to me and I'm so impressed with this fabric that it was able to live up to each of those qualities. And can we talk about the floral print for a minute? Isn't it gorgeous? I love how big the flower clusters are and the coloring is so beautiful with the mix of pinks, lavender, and greens all set on this gorgeous aubergine background. It's so pretty. Speaking of color, I'm sure you noticed that both of my garments for the for this blog tour are in my favorite color, call it maroon, wine, garnet, whatever. And if you love this color as much as me, you have to check out the mold wine section on Michelle's site. She's got almost 30 fabrics that feature this color and I want them all. 
Well, that's going to do it for me on this fall edition of Stylemaker Fabrics blog tour. Head to Stylemaker Fabrics on Instagram for a list of upcoming bloggers. Abby will be on the tour on September the 28th. If you like these fabrics, head to stylemakerfabrics.com to buy them up. Shipping is just $5 no matter how much you order or where you live within the U.S. And there's also discounted shipping for those who live internationally. Seriously, there's no excuse to not check out these fabrics. Until next time, bye!